How y'all doing tonight? Well, I'm gonna cook my first dish here in the new house. I'm gonna uh, start on some chicken and rice casserole. Tomorrow we're gonna have for Mother's Day. We're gonna have my mother-in-law over and some family. So first off, what we're gonna do? I got a little pot over here on the stove. I'm gonna prepare the rice for it. I like to use this Uncle Ben's wild rice, this long grain wild rice. So what I'm doing, pretty much, uh. Kind of follow the package instructions. Let me zoom in there just a little bit and see what's going on. I got my little pan on the stove. Now I'm going to use two packets of this because I'm going to make uh, two Pyrexes of a. Uh, Whoa, what a light thing. Thing blow up there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and turn that stove on. I've got four cups of uh, chicken stock, four and a half cups. Okay, this is actually. I cooked the chicken earlier in, in water, simmered it most of the day, and this is what I came up with. I measured out four cups of that stock. So I'm going to take that four cups of stock, got that there on, a, on high heat, on the burner. These came with little season packets, so I'm going to put these packets in. This will give it a little bit extra flavor too. Last time I made this, I didn't put these packets in because I was afraid they had too much salt. It really didn't. So, go ahead and put those seasoning packets in. Stir it around a little bit. To what? And what we're going to do is you basically kind of cook this just like normal rice. It says uh, combined rice and contents of seasoning packet. Two and a quarter cup of water and one tablespoon of olive oil in a medium saucepan. Bring to a bowl and reduce heat. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put the rice in then too. Just two packs. Put the call for a mild water. Put a little bit about a tablespoon or so of olive oil in. A little bit there. We'll stir this around. I'm just going to bring this to a bowl and then we'll reduce the heat and bring it back down to a simmer. Alright, we're done with that rice. Now we're going to go ahead with the rest of the dish here. Let me scoot you up a little bit so you can see a little better. Get down here. What I've got is a pot on the stove with a um, little bit of olive oil in there. Probably about a tablespoon or so. Got it on uh, just about medium heat. Let that get hot just for a second. Now I'm going to take uh, some of this frozen miracle, which is the uh, bell pepper, celery, and, uh, and onions, frozen. About one bag I put in there, that's about 12 ounces. A little bit more than that, so I put about a quarter of another bag. I'll let that simmer down just for a little bit. And then I'm going to add some more bell pepper. I've got some uh, orange bell pepper. I like to put that in there just to give it a little bit of color. Okay, now that this uh, trendy here has had a chance to melt a little bit, it's all out. I'm gonna go ahead and put in this orange bell pepper. Like I said, I'm mainly doing this for color and I'll add a little bit of sweetness. Then I'll turn the heat up a little bit, medium high heat, toward, more toward high. Still getting used to this stove. I'm gonna let this saute. Just a little bit till we start seeing those onions turn kind of translucent. Okay, as you can now see, see all that water is coming out of those vegetables? Well, a little bit of that water evaporate so everything won't be so runny. We'll just cook them a few more minutes. Okay, so a lot of that moisture is cooked out of there. Turn the heat down just a tad, now I'm going to add some spices. I've got a tablespoon of Slap Your Mama, a tablespoon of Old Bay, a tablespoon of curry powder, you know, about a tablespoon of black pepper. So let's add that to it. I've kind of noticed while I've been cooking here, my lighting is not quite that good. So y'all might have to give me some suggestions on making. I've got all the lights on here in the kitchen, but I mean, the lighting for the film doesn't look that great. So feel free to give me any suggestions on that one. Anyway, so we're mixing these spices in here. You can really smell that stuff. Just mixing in there, cooking. Oh yeah, just opening up those spices, getting them all hot. Now, I've got some uh, Rotel, one can of Rotel that I've drained. Go ahead and put that in there. 
Let that cook for a minute. I'm gonna cook some of the juice out of it. We got that trendy in there. We got our spices. This one will go on and put some garlic. You got about two tablespoons of garlic, mince. Put that in there. Mix that around. We don't want to burn our garlic though. We'll turn the heat down a little bit more. Now I'm going to start with, uh, I've got some canned soup here. I've got some cream of chicken soup. It's a condensed can of cream of chicken soup. Great for cooking here. Put that in there. See, you might have to get a spatula or something to get that out. Put all that. Put that most up. All of it. Got one more can of soup I'm going to put in there. We'll change it up there. I'm going to put a can of cream of mushroom in there. Go ahead and scoop this out. So a can of cream of chicken and a can of cream of mushroom went in. And we're going to stir it all back. I'm going to stir it just about. I'm going to turn it down to low heat. Now I'm going to run and go get my rice and my other stuff. I think I may have this for a little bit better angle for y'all. I hope my camera don't fall off in that corner there. All right, so got all that mixed up. All my soups, vegetables, got my heat on low, low. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in that rice. Now that should be about six cups of rice. If the uh, recipe said with me. Oh man, I got that stuff all down the stove. So I'm down there. Now I gotta clean up the stove tonight. Let me go ahead and get this rice in here like this. Let's try and do it where you can see it. That tends to make a mess. Man, I hate to have to clean that stove top before I go to bed. Okay, so we'll stir this rice in here. Get that all in there. It really looks good. Rice in there. I'm going to turn my heat pretty much off. Let's see. That's all. Okay. Now I've got some chicken. I've got probably this is about four pounds of pulled chicken. Like I said, I can roast that chicken off. You can buy those roast chickens already at the grocery store. But you can boil it if you want to. If you boil a chicken, you want to simmer it. And boil it really, really slow because if you boil a chicken fast, let's say you cook it in 15 minutes or so by boiling it, it's going to be tough and it's going to be dry. So you really need to cook it slow when you're doing that. Man, that's some plenty, plenty of chicken there. I'll tell you what, could have eaten chicken that night for dinner. I still have enough left. Go ahead and fold this chicken in. I may have to switch to a bigger. Bigger bowl. Let, let me switch to a bigger pot. Hold on. Okay, now there's a bowl. So along with the stove top, the cabinets, crock pot, the pots and pans, I get to clean this big bowl tonight too. Wow, we. Let's get this all down in there. That breaking a bowl now. I should have known better. I should have just poured this mixture over the chicken and the rice in this bowl in the first place. But no, I was hard at it. I was trying to get out of doing, clean the pot, and that's what I get. So, let's get this mixed in here. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna have to dirty up another spoon, because this spatula ain't good enough. It ain't stiff enough. Get this harder spoon here. Tear it through here. We saw this. And okay, before I forget, go ahead and take two. Put in, I got about two cups of 
whole mayonnaise here and put that in there too. That's what make it nice and creamy like. Nice creamy taste. Like I said, I'm making a double recipe. So remember, just half everything I'm saying here if you want to make this single one Pyrex of it. Anyway, I'm going to mix all this together and I'm going to get ready to pour it and I'll come right back to you. Okay, now I got that mixed in. I want to take some sharp cheddar cheese. I got about two cup bag and pour that in there too. Get that well incorporated into the mix. So we got some cheese in there. And also, before I do this, before you put your cheese in, like I did, just taste it for salt, spice level, stuff like that. See if you need to add anything. Or maybe, you know, it's too spicy. And you might want to add some more mayonnaise or some more soup or even some more rice. The mine was just right. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this cheese in here, then we're gonna pour this. Okay, now we're gonna come over this way, we're gonna put some down, we're gonna use a Pyrex pan. What I like to use to be a good little thing to yeah, you don't have to uh, grease it or anything. You gotta make it just too oily. It's got plenty of oil and stuff in there, that mayonnaise and all that stuff. Uh, you don't need no grease in that, in that pan, I'm telling you that. So I'm just spooning it in here like this. Easy to do. So I get about what I think is about half. Okay. Let me get a little spatula. We'll smooth this out a little bit, see how we're looking. Pretty good, pretty good. I see I need some more over in this direction. So just smooth that out until you get almost three quarters of the way up the pan. You know, you just want an even layer of this mixing here. Smooth down some more on this side. Maybe we'll pull it back this way a little bit. Smooth it, just get it even. It don't have to be even on the top, just want thickness to be even. Alright, see this just like that, and it's almost ready to go. At least ready to go up for the night. Okay, before I put it away for the night, because like I said, I'm gonna. Do this in the morning, the rest of it. You can do all this at once if you want to. Take a little bit of this more shredded cheese. And I'm going to put a thin layer right there on top. See, that was about one small handful. I may just put two because you don't want this cheese to burn. And we're going to put another little topping on here. This little thin just to give it a little hint of cheese all the way on top. Now, what we'll do is I'm going to put it, I'm going to pour the other one just like this. Put this in the refrigerator, cover it with tinfoil first, and we'll let it sit there overnight and we'll get it on tomorrow around lunch. Okay, now we're gonna make the topping for this casserole. So first I'm gonna do, we got about a stick and a half of butter, melt it in this pan. I'm gonna take these uh, Ritz crackers and I'm gonna crush these all up. I'm gonna put them in there. Okay, now I get the butter melted, I'm gonna go ahead and put these packs of crushed uh, Ritz in there. Got the movie over there in the background. Kids over there watching. So we'll just stir these in and let these cook just for a few minutes. And we're going to use this as the topping. All right, now we're going to put this topping on here. We'll just scoop it on there, push it on. We'll do about half on this one, half on this other one. I'm my cut with my little nephew down there asking where's the lobster. We didn't do the lobsters this time. He was here when I did my lobster video. So we got this one spread out and got this one spread out. Now I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 and we'll stick them in there for about 30 minutes. Okay, so I just put them in the oven. 350. We're gonna put them in there for 25 minutes. Okay, so I got them out after about 30 minutes. But I'm sitting on the counter here for a couple minutes, and we'll cut into them.